leash. Stab it on a leash. Boop, 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 boop. You like that? Dude. Should we close the door? Close uh, the door. No, Ethan. It's okay, we got a lot. I think of, we should close the door. We got a lot of people in here. Oh, musty. I want to get toasty. It's okay. Don't you? Not while I'm we'll in here. An art I like it. Yeah. We could just use cut. <laughs> My natural yeah, sense. Yeah, help people in their own I guess. Save them. Yeah. That's how you track oh, women? You're just gonna let them dive in. Yeah. Okay. It's rough. Who's dying? Heroin addicts. Ah. Oh. Well, we're recording. They're addicted to female superheroes. Aren't you? We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you want to close the door, Ethan? Oh, I thought we were. No, we can keep it open. We got Why don't five. We open up the we window. Have five Why don't we open up the window? Why don't we open up the window? Keep, keep it cool in here. It's okay. We can we can suffer some audio quality for it's okay. I'll a just, little bit of. You know, yeah. We got some stinky got guys it. in here. Stinky. <laughs> um. We got a special episode today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some special boys with us. It's not just it's not just the boys, you know. We've got uh, Chris, intern Chris, make his and, debut. Um, Davis. What do they call, What do they call like fancy prostitutes? Exits. Escorts. 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 Exits. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got our escort Davis with this too. Is that because I smell nice today? <laughs> well, you you're making me nice. feel funny feelings. It's kind of cute. Did you hit record? I don't see. Like you're sucking a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you hit record. It's another window. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's recording. I just want to see how. Oh cool. Okay. Today, our topic is Dragon Duh. Ball Super. <laughs> 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 Dragon Ball Super. So. I'm I'm excited for this. I know Chris is excited for this. Yeah. I know Davis probably is beside it. I'm down to clown. Ethan and Paisley have been known to. You guys not like care. anime. <laughs> you guys, you guys are really watching some anime. You I wish me. Goku comes back in the next season of Shameless. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm down to talk about this stuff. I have no attraction to Dragon Ball. Why not? Whatsoever. He's just. I just had. I was. You don't like the story of the Monkey King? I was never into it. Oh, you don't like Dragon Ball? Yeah. The, okay, the episode's I over. <laughs> In case you haven't known already, I don't like Dragon Ball. Um, well, I don't know. I think you'd like some of the art in it. Yeah, some of the animation's pretty cool, but uh, my first real exposure to it was you guys dragging me to that movie. Yeah. And it was extortion. <laughs> the price for the ticket was extortion. How much did it cost you? I can't remember, but it was... Was it more than a regular it ticket? It was more than a regular ticket for like a Sunday night. I think it was like movie. full movie Which ticket one? price. Resurrection F. Okay. Remember? Because that was like, they debuted it in theaters. Yeah. Which was awesome. Yeah, we've... we've for some of us. too. Yeah, it was <laughs> freaking rad. It was great. <laughs> Did you have to travel to like Indy? But no, we went to so. we went to a uh, certain town. MC, yeah. The whole movie was just a fight scene with like some cutaways of a cat talking about ice cream. Those were my favorite parts. Uh, oh yeah, no, that was right. Yeah. A lot more than that. Cheese jokes. Yeah. yeah. And there were some cool moments of animation and some weird moments of animation with 3D models. Yeah. That was neat though. It was cool how they yeah. uh, introduced that. I remember specifically before the movie even started, there was this guy. I was like, <laughs> he said something stupid. It was like, it was something about Krillin. <laughs> He's just like, Krillin's gonna save everyone. <laughs> something uh-huh. like that. Didn't Krillin die in that movie, or did he grow hair? They shaved he his head. Some- didn't you have some hair? He did. Like he shaved it. He yeah, won. he's a cop now. That oh was yeah, yeah. They started it off with Krillin. Yeah. Man, it sounds like you've got some cool things to say about this movie. Yeah, I really like <laughs> Krillin's scooter. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that was only the first three minutes of the movie. So the other hour and a half, I was pretty bored. <laughs> I was pretty bored. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. So where it wasn't was that bad? It was a solid movie. It was pretty good. I like the other one better. I and mean, I think you would have liked terrible. the other one better because it was all about the cat. You know, I've heard that the yeah. live action one's really good, so I'm excited <laughs> to see that. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of this show? It's called. It's on Netflix. Uh, it's Shameless. No, I haven't. Well, there's this guy that's um, he's in there, and um, yeah, that's Goku he's and in the show. Yeah, Bulma. Okay. She's in that Bulma. Too. Bulma. He's in the show. Yeah. Bulma. Bulma. Want to tell us a little bit more about it? I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you want to start? 
So, like, should we touch on how, how much Dragon Ball means to all of us? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Isn't that what we just did? Ever. Well, I think Ethan just did. Okay. So, Chris, did you, you grew up with Dragon Ball, right? Yeah, of course Okay, so we got three of us who grew up with Dragon Ball, and two of us who just don't give a shit. I watched a bit here and there. Got the Dragon Ball okay. I've seen some, I've seen I don't know, if you, if you saw the Cell Saga with Gohan, I think you became a fan at that point. Because that was the coolest shit of my childhood. Yeah. Watching him grow up with me as a little boy. <laughs> little boy pussy. <laughs> Dragon Ball is what kept me going with drawing. That made me wow. the man I am today. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. That's sad. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, is it sad? <laughs> so, okay, so what What kind of uh, spurred this idea was Chris picked up the, the manga for Dragon Ball Super, which is the newest arc of I think it's pronounced Dragon Ball. Magna? The, yeah. The mania? Yeah, the mania. The mania. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a pretty short book. I read it. And about, about probably it takes about an hour, an hour, hour and a half. Take me like three then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. And they've they've had the show going here for about a year or so. Yeah. Well, it's been about two years for the um, Japanese release of the show, and then it's been about a few months for the dub. Yeah, because the dub started this year. That's yeah, what I've been that's waiting on. Toonami's relaunch. I caught like a glimpse of it on Toonami. Yeah. It was. It starts well, a little it was bad. It but I mean, it didn't pay any homage to the original dude. No, it's it just get behind. It was. It was just weird. Like it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's surrounded by this real shit show called like Samurai Jason. Oh. <laughs> That's, <laughs> a <white> word, Chris. <laughs> That's a different topic. All on <laughs> Samurai Jason. <laughs> oh. Um. But then I read the man the the mania, and it was it it was really good. Yeah, the Magnus. Is it was good. super funny. It was quick. Yeah, it. it Did you read it online? Huh? Or you buy it? I read Chris's bought that copy. physical copy. Okay, okay. Did he, you bring it? He picked it up at the the old no. Barnes and. I'm supposed to be reading it right books now. Books about you. <laughs> well, we can go to it's at the whatever. This is for later. <laughs> 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 so let's start with like how the whole thing starts so but yeah as I read it I picked yeah. up on similarities and differences from the show mm -hmm. that I thought would be interesting to talk about and, cool, man. You and get, cut Chris Ethan's, off, fine. get Ethan's opinion go ahead Chris <laughs> no no I'm done sorry I'm looking <laughs> at a lot of cool guns on reddit so um. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of zone out here for a little while <laughs> our cool guns it's okay there's gonna be a test at the end of the episode <laughs> okay good <laughs> let's get started this is with the show. So, yeah. Um, you mean the dub, or do you mean just Dragon Ball Z? Dude, I only watch subs. Okay? So oh. Not even <laughs> so you're a hardcore... You're a substitute. Anime -er. Yeah. Yeah. Anime -er? Yeah. What? Is, should I say <laughs> William Davis? Yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> Call him what he is. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So the difference between uh, Dragon Ball Super and the original show, well, the original, Dragon Ball Z, which comes from Dragon Ball, is, uh, I don't know, something about, if we're talking about the show first, the show for Super is kind of weirdly too clean. Um, I think that's, you know more about that kind of shit. Wasn't it more hand-drawn shit with Dragon Ball Z? Oh, yeah. Um, that's definitely a difference. Uh I'd say the show. So you looks think that's a bad? You think it's a bad thing that it's like all digital and? I think it's rushed. It's a rush job. I could definitely tell. But the manga, manga, mangas, <laughs> mania, manger? it um, the manger. It look. It's drawn by a different artist, but it looks very similar yeah. to the original. Yeah, I couldn't even Kira tell. Toriyama, how involved is he? He's he writes the story. Writes the artist is the artist, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Because he made he did the concepts for the movie which is what they're adapting mm -hmm. it's doing it pretty well mm -hmm. I mean, it's a story but um, it feels different from yeah. any other Dragon Ball it's a lot it's got a lot more humor yeah more um, humor more of a story 
and yeah. less of the fighting. Mm-hmm. Not as much filler. Uh, not the show. The, we're not even talking about the show. Shows up, but like, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. There's. It's a lot quicker too. With, um, well, I guess we can just get right into like how it starts. We'll kind of go over that. So, the book starts off with the end of the Boo saga. You know when that Boo-boo-boo. happened, Ethan. The big pink. Remember guy. that? What's the year? You remember when Goku that finished was on off Disney Boo? Channel? Oh, that was huge, dude. That really made an impact you on remember where, cartoons. You remember where you were when the like fight started into a chocolate ball? <laughs> Majin Buu was fat, but then he got gastric bypass surgery I mean, and he I, got in a fight with Goku. I mean, I well, saw Well, he first it. started off as this old gray blonde well, It was on the guy. news. Like, they were like, mm-hmm. that's the famous thing. Like, where were you? And then when Goku the Boo saga ended, you remember that? His stitches. Yeah. In it's his like stomach. on the news, like big reports. Everybody like they dismissed us from school oh, yeah, and everything. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow, I don't remember it being that dark. <laughs> Goku yeah, it wasn't was. dark. It was <laughs> joyful. <laughs> well, I mean, the good series was coming to an end, and it came out to GT. I I didn't I didn't have a problem with GT. I did. Yeah. What I think was your whole... biggest dislike? There's no Boo. <laughs> they took out Boo. <laughs> But they brought back Oob. Yeah, he's just yeah, a reverse guy that no one cares about. It's just this little boy. Yeah. You didn't like Oop? No. You didn't like his cool mohawk? No, dude. I, f- I don't for think the you, weird I don't, antenna thing. I don't all think the way. you like Dragon Ball that much. Dude, what about the part with... <laughs> love Dragon Ball. What about the part with Bilbo? <laughs> oh, Bilbo. <That> Baggins? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the Baggins saga here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Goku killed Samwise, felt really bad about it, and had to take Frodo. Wait, Goku killed Samwise? Yeah. yeah. You don't remember that? God, I, must, I must have spaced. It was in between the Breeze saga and the Cell saga. Podcast canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm a fake gamer girl. B-Boy Baggins. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it starts at the end of the Boo saga, and then we get to see... <laughs> get us back on <laughs> <laughs> Then we get to see um, Farmer Goku. Yeah, Goku's... Okay, so Ethan, this would probably be the only moment in the book that you would like. It starts off with Goku riding a tractor. Okay. Through a few... It's just... I, it's just a cool what? design for a tractor. You probably really like it. He's growing beets? Yeah, I think so, right? Is it, is it beets? I'm pretty sure it's, it's he's a beet you farmer. Just lost I'm Ethan. unsold. I don't remember. Sold. Chris, say something cool. Like, what did you say beets were the other day? I don't know, carrots. Carrots. They're like carrots. plant liver. <laughs> plant liver. Yeah, beets are gross. But, um... Can we start on beets? So Goku's like. Is he a good farmer? No, he's no. Not. I mean, he's growing beets. So what does he that gets say? distracted. No, they they Remember really touch on. Remember episode of the Office where they're like. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I remember about, that one. There's something about beats. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting really off. We're getting really off topic. And oh yeah, that, that yeah. one quote that everybody knows. So like, um, he's farming and whatever, and uh, they really drive how much of an idiot he is in this whole book. Yeah, they do. They make him stupid. Oh. And we'll touch more on that a little later, but uh, yeah, it's like they really try to add some kind of logic too, because they're like, well, how can he farm all day and train? You know, he's got to have money. Send your boy Hercule. You remember Hercule? You remember him? Mr. Mm-hmm. Satan? Remember that guy? Hercule. Savior of the human race. You gotta know Her- Hercule. Hercule. Handlebar mustache. Her- Afro. Talks like this! Oh, that big guy. <laughs> that big idiot guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's the martial artist who's the big phony. Dynamite kid. I know that. Okay, I remember that guy. <laughs> I remember that guy. So he, he pops it. The, they've got like these different moments throughout the book that just kind of bullshit the rest of the story through, but works. When you say bullshit the rest of the story through, that doesn't really, to me, that doesn't really give the idea of it works. It does. What do you, what does. Do you mean by It makes it quicker. It, it, instead of spending it cuts like. out the bullshit. Instead of spending three pages on something, they'll put it in a bubble, and it's like, wow, I'm glad we did not have to wait <laughs> yeah. so long for something so minuscule. So just a big chunk of exposition, and then you move yeah, on? Yeah, that you yeah. don't need, that you do not need there. Okay. They just fit it in one little spot in the corner. So this one, I think we came out to like. Four or five of them throughout the throughout the first book, where they just cut out the bullshit. They they trim the fat, mm-hmm. and this one was Hercule gets prize money from the battle that Goku saved the world with. In the movie? No, in the Boo saga. Oh, okay. Boo Boo. Yeah, Goku were, saves the world. Yeah, they were like, oh, you, you, you stopped stop Boo. Here's ten trillion dollars. He saves the like world that. a lot though. It's so. 
but nobody knows about it. Yeah. Okay. The first time he, I think it's this Hercule he defeated. Fool. Yeah, Hercule okay. keeps getting all the keeps getting all the props, and now Hercule's finally like, well, yeah, okay, you can have this one because I'm dumb. Yeah. Does he just give him the money? Yeah, he just, he gives no, him. It's like a hundred. It's just hundred million. Hundred hundred thousand zenny. It was a hundred million because there's a joke. It's like, how many thousands is that? Yeah. It's like, we're going here right now? Yes. <laughs> so, Goku's really rich now. Yes. Goku's Does loaded. he stop bee farming? Yeah, so now yeah. he doesn't have to be a farmer. So it instantly... Wait, he was farming, like, for income? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ch- Chi-Chi put him to work. Right. That's interesting. Okay. She's like, well, you don't have anybody to fight now. I better get a job. Fine, interesting. Like, <laughs> that's the career path he chose. He saves the world, and now he's a farmer. I don't think he really chills. It was more kind of like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta provide for this family. And he's all like, what? But like, no why not be like, off. you know, an insurance salesman or a cop or something or a security guard or asset protection or That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know, like, why beat farming? You know, because it, yeah, it puts him in a cute little outfit. Yeah, he's got. You don't nice like this, do you? This story suck. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, put you him down. outside. I'll take him outside. Uh, we'll wait on you. We'll you wait. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We don't want you to miss any of this. Yeah, go ahead. Pause. You guys have fun. See we'll you wait for you. <laughs> Nerd. So, uh, yeah, there's a name difference that we noticed uh, when we were reading the book. I already knew about it, um, but you didn't, right? Like with Kaios no, and no Lord idea. of Lords. Yeah, so it's confusing. You guys know King Kai, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, blue guy. You know that guy. Blue guy. I can't do this. Uh, <laughs> Goku! Okay. Yeah. Wait, Goku! <laughs> yes, <laughs> Except more like blubber in his mouth. Mm. <laughs> I have this one car. <laughs> so, McCoff, gas money. What's the monkey's name? <laughs> Bubbles. Ooh, Bubbles. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> Isn't there a little ant? There is a little ant. cricket. I thought he died. Jeffrey? Is it Jeffrey? I, <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, they, you got King Kai, you got Bubbles, you got fucking Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Dream <Damn> team. <laughs> okay, so yeah, once he's on uh, King Kai's planet, uh, Beerus, the big cat guy, shows I like up. Goose. I like him. And um, him and Goku get in a fight because Goku got big dick. And he's like, oh. I'm going to fight this guy because I'm tough and strong. Wait, I beat Boo Boo. Why does he want to fight Beerus? Well, Beerus wants to fight him. Why? Yeah. Because of his yeah. premonition. Yeah. Goku's big thing is that he always wants to find a bigger and better challenge. I, that's the, it's the not whole like reason. that. A uh, pussy bitch, Naruto. <laughs> Doesn't he cry? Has Naruto he cried before? Naruto just Does like, he cry in the yeah. show? Yeah, then he's a pussy. Wants to get his lover back. <laughs> Sasuke. Now, who cares about that? That's some basic Sasuke. shit. This guy just wants to fight. So Goku wants to fight? Yeah. Goku's the Doritos of <laughs> <laughs> Who's Dorito? Well, no, just Doritos, because it's like... Oh, Doritos! It's not gourmet, but it's not shit. Yeah. But it's pretty good. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, somebody gives it to you when you're drunk, you're going to eat it. Yeah, you're going to eat Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to eat a whole bag of this fucking Doritos. If I slap a bag of Doritos, you're going to eat a chip. If I slap on a really good episode of Dragon Ball, you're probably going to look at it for a few minutes. Every time you say the word Doritos, you kind of put a ja at the beginning. Yeah, Doritos. You've been saying Doritos. 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 We're cutting this out. <laughs> I don't no. look dumb. Oh, I look stupid. No, and this is fun. Jurassic Man, nobody Park. Can see you. <laughs> Jurassic. <laughs> Overly Jurassic Park. Yeah, nobody knows what you fucking look like. They're gonna, they nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, so this is kind of like where they skip through Battle of Gods. Well, yeah, because he Damon. wants to fight because he's like, I've heard about this Super Saiyan God dude. And Goku has no idea what he's talking about. Super Senu. Gadu. <laughs> Goku appears touched. <laughs> that's what they do. Literally, Goku gets flicked in the head and touched on the neck, and that's how he goes down. Yeah. Do they do, like, sounding so they can, like, dock each other? So let's, this is Beerus, and you can edit You can edit this. I will just show the images. Why does Goku's <laughs> clothes have, any, have so many wrinkles in them? Right, so Goku gets an outfit gee. changed. Chi-Chi don't iron? <laughs> it's no. a gi. Why isn't Goku? Oh no, there's iron? no picture. <laughs> uh, you know, just because Chi Chi doesn't want to iron. This is Beerus. <laughs> Goku and his partner Whis. <laughs> partner. <laughs> you know, Goku could even use that stuff you spray on your clothes before you put them in the dryer, so you don't have to iron them. Febreze. 
Is that it? Is it Febreze? That's a brand. No, there's something. It's not going. There's like anti wrinkle spray. He's not a receptionist. He's just a. Well, it just he he's a fighter. Really wrinkly. He's not a receptionist. I don't remember Weiss being that big, as in this gay picture you're showing me. I What's think gay he's about it? pretty tall. If I remember correctly. Not gay. I thought Beerus was bigger. He's a cat. He licks things. No, I just thought he was taller. But what's nah, Beerus is pretty short. Beerus. Oh really? I remember him being Beerus a big cool. cat. He's got big old ears. Well, Weiss is very tall. Oh okay. Yeah. He's very tall. And then um, look at him grab that ass. I thought you, you just do? said it wasn't gay. Nice. That's not gay. It's just good game. But he's having a good ass. time playing some grab ass. <laughs> <laughs> grab ass? <laughs> I'm sitting here touching you a second ago. You're like, oh, stop touching me. <laughs> While you were hitting me. No, I, I was grabbing your titties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are they like a yaoi ship? Beerus and Weiss? Apparently. No, That's I mean, cool. They live together. You could Bro. Four of me. a hot tub. Uh, four of me. Because I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> so. I like a good yaoi. <laughs> What you talking about? Yeah, weekend, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> weekend, Craig. We need focus. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, after that, Beerus goes to Earth. He goes to Earth. Yeah. This is where they skip over like half the movie, and this is more of like the bullshit stuff. They is the 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 pudding. Yeah. You think like that Beerus likes Weiss because his hair looks like a McDonald's ice cream. Yes. So when Beerus gets to Earth, <laughs> so he he uh, starts picking, or somebody picks a fight with him. It's Boo Boo. Boo gets knocked out, and he gets knocked out with Gohan. And then uh, little Go Tanks, little Trunks, they start to fight, get their little ass smacked. Another funny thing they do is this he punishes the book, him. The smacking. I'm pretty sure is that not in the book? Oh, never mind. So we go straight to Beerus picking a fight with Bulma. Yeah, he smacks Bulma right in your face. Smacks the fuck out of Fiona Bulma. gets jacked Whoa. in the face. And then Vegeta gets real mad. He does that whole, that's Everybody, my Bulma. Yeah, that's my Bulma. Everybody's, up. Uh, Vegeta. He got a heart. He likes Bulma. And then <laughs> um, Beerus and you, is not you, impressed. You really are into that, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand the big hype about it. So, like... Because he cares. If Fiona's Bulma, does that make Vegeta the heroin addict from Shameless? Man, why Crack is always got to talk about In the Shameless? A- I'm making a Shameless AU. <laughs> well, Shameless kind of sucks, so, <laughs> like... <laughs> um, so it'd be Jimmy's enemy. So I would I would think it would be the guitar player. Oh. The guy who oh. doesn't want to wake you up. In but the he's way. a pussy and Vegeta's cool. Yeah, see, I think Vegeta's cool. Yeah, you don't think Vegeta's cool, do you? I think you Vegeta's the, the heroin Vegeta's. addict, dude. Okay. The, that's Sean. my pork chop. That's my pork chop! <laughs> pork chop sandwiches! I was going to say pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> you and that... Oh, uh, we're going to cut this out. <laughs> we're going to be upset. You and uh, that cooking? <laughs> uh, man, we're really getting off the rails. I, my secret plan is to make a lot of editing work for Chris so he leaves me alone tomorrow. <laughs> this is and I can play Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll make him a good editor. Right? This is initiation. <laughs> There's going to be so much. I've, I I've told them, I, I told them, I'm like, when you yeah, when, when you know we're going to have to edit something out, just do like a quick, like, everybody stop talking. That way I could easily just... Sorry, Chris, you can't do that. No. Instead of getting... Up, 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 up. So should there be like a <laughs> signal? Yeah, that signal. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? One more time? So now we get Chompa. Yeah, Chompa. And this was not introduced Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. We gotta stop. <laughs> That's a big jump. No, it is. It's you missed the whole fight in Red Goku. I mean, it's uh, it's in the movie. Red Goku? <laughs> yeah, you haven't Super Saiyan. It's not Super Saiyan. It's God Mode Goku. Yeah, it's been all... God Mode. Isn't there Super Saiyan God? No, that's what Goku is. Yeah, that's Super Saiyan God. That's Red Goku. That's Red Goku. Then you get Super Saiyan we God. In Super fact, Saiyan. We, in fact, have a picture. Is that blue? Oh, yeah, we do have a picture. Of Goku Red. Goku? I think he yeah, is. That's Goku. Goku Red. Look at him. Look how skinny. skinny he is. He gets skinny. He lost a swirly. Okay. Look, this. He didn't have the swirly. <laughs> Look, there's more baggy pants. That's Red Goku. So what do Goku's you think? cool. Um... Would you kiss him? <laughs> I'd kiss him. Looks like an eighth grader's OC of Goku. <laughs> <laughs> like an early two thousands eighth grader made uh, this up. I'm oh, sorry. But would you kiss him? No. 
He's all colorful. Like, he, he will flash of light. I, I take one look shit. at this guy and be like, why the fuck are your pants that wrinkly, dude? I don't <laughs> see any. I don't see any sparkles. No, in the movie he does. Movie. Um, yeah, so that fight goes on. Yeah, we meet Champa and Champa. Champa's a fat version of Beerus. We got, <laughs> we got a picture of that too. Do we have Champa? Oh yeah, we got <laughs> Champa. Go ahead, show me, show me Champa. That's so, Champa. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking and at? He, you could have picture. His girl version of Weiss, who is Weiss's sister, and her name is Vados. Vados. Wait, there's girl version and fat version? So this this is where shit gets interesting. This is in canon? Yeah. This is canon. Is it AU? Alternate universe stuff? Kind of. So Ooh. the the whole thing with Dragon Ball Super is that there's 12 universes introduced. Oh. And the one that we're currently in... <laughs> well, what was that, Ethan? I like looked sh- up to the sky with an exasperated... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, like strap really it, shitty. big boy. We got some news for you. So Here we look, go. we're gonna run through it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we got what? What universe are they in? They're in universe seven. seven, and Champa is from universe six. Now, here's where things get interesting. <laughs> yeah, there are, are twelve we? universes in total. Yeah, and Champa's universe. You know, he's the mirror to Beerus's universe. So here, here, here's the breakdown. So, Champa Beerus mirror. So everything that's on our universe, you know, our playing field, is mirrored in this other one. So you meet characters that look familiar, but they're slightly different. That'll be later on, not now. We're not talking about that right now. But so God Goku, it. Redhead Goku is not alternate universe Goku. That's just another level that's just, of Goku. That's a, that's that's yes. real Goku. Super Saiyan okay. Goku. So we should just call this one like explaining <laughs> super <laughs> people who don't give a shit about Dragon Ball. <laughs> be careful, you don't want to make a BuzzFeed video. I'll be honest, <laughs> you, guys, you guys aren't selling it very well. Really? It's really cringy. Really? Like, this is this is really cringy fan fiction. Oh, that's right, we're just gonna edit you out. <laughs> <laughs> like when you start throwing in alternate universes, that's when you're like, oh, I've got an idea. Comic books. I know we do whatever fuck we want. No, no, no. I thought the same thing, but like. The way that they kind of bullshit everything is what I thought. What I thought was really keep using organized. the word bullshit. And it's fast. It you just guys means are like really bad sales. Do you know what it reminds me of? Is We're you've eaten to worse? It. Okay. I feel okay. like you're telling me you've eaten worse. Fair enough. <laughs> Continue. You've, you've seen worse anime, Paisley. You watch a Ramo or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a bad thing. It's it's just quick and it's organized. So they're not going to go, especially at this point of the story, they're not going to go super in debt. It's kind of just like, here's kind of the deal, like with his 12 universes. So why? why? Why Why is this even brought up? Because there's, there's about to be a big ass fight. But like, what brought Champa in? Like Champa is coming in, he's like, hey, there's going to be a fight? That's another joke, is the way they fight, because they're so powerful, the only way they can fight without shit getting destroyed is they have competitions of food. So fights. who has the better food, and that's how they and, fight and each other. In each person's universe, their quest is to find who has better food. And that's where Earth comes in, because Earth's food is better than, like, any Wait, other food. stop. I kind of like that. <laughs> right? That's, that's kind of funny. funny. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> I have a question. Who, so, wait, Champa? So in universe six, they are they just want to eat good food? Yeah. yeah. That's Why hasn't universe six and seven. Ooh, why six Wait, and seven? Wait, I thought they were in Because they both just have an they obsession are. with food. Champa's oh, universe Chompa. is universe six. The cats I thought love you said food. everyone in universe six had an obsession with food. No. Just Champa? It's just Champa and Beerus because, oh. I mean, they fight because they're brothers. But when they fight... How are they brothers if they're from an alternate universe? They're twin brothers. Because they're gods. But no, twin they're universes, alternate... twin brothers. Uh, so that they're just calling each other brothers, but really they're alternate versions of themselves. I don't think that's been explained. It has, but it's that's, that's too weird. far ahead. That's too far ahead. Well, but if they're if they're twins, it's just simple. It's it's just they don't go too far into it because they don't want to confuse people. It's just like it's it's fat beers. They make jokes about it at the end of the book, yeah. where it's like a panel of Champa there, and they pull this like air plug out, and he shrinks <laughs> and it up to beers. Into beers. Yeah, like it's it's supposed to be kind of more fun. That's what I like about Dragon Ball. It's not so overly it's complex. Fanfic. No, it's not fanfic. I mean, it it's a lot more organized and a lot more 
Let, let him continue because I I'm not really sold in the whole. I like I like the idea of Universe Six, the whole fighting with food thing. But like the the when you introduce old alternate universes, it's like all right. Wait, well, they do fight with food in Universe Six? Not fight like Six and Seven have a competition between each other. It's Beerus and Champa. Who's got the better food? Who's got Are, the better? Oh, food? this is not. See, I thought everyone in Universe Six fought with food instead no. of their fists. No. I thought that that's a lot less interesting now. And exactly. And no, so it's now not. It's like, I oh. thought I thought we were having like the food fighting anime. Like where they no, cook the no. Oh, that one was cool, dude. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's it's like a competition. Pokemon, between. you can eat. Well, because who Beer- gives a shit about them? Well, because the, okay, Champa eats Earth's food. I don't remember what it was. It was like some Japanese. Food. It was a cup of ramen. Well, yeah, it was a cup of because, ramen like, noodles. They cup eat of sand noodles. sandwiches over in his universe or something. <laughs> well, they eat like frogs and shit. Yeah, they eat nasty shit. So Pierce like wins because he's got he's got Earth food. We got ice cream sundaes. Yeah, we got we got yeah. pudding. We got cup of noodles. So this yeah, is like pudding. So up. Champa gets all pissed off and he's like, Vados. "Wait, how's he so fat? If their food's so gross." I mean, he's just fat. He doesn't exercise. He's a fat boy. Well, you got to eat a lot to. He get probably does. Fat. He's searching for the good. What's food? the deal with his oh, sex life? Yeah, that's Vados, who is uh, Weiss's sister. But she's all same here. thing. Mirrored universe shit. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It, it's explained later. That's why they don't delve too deep into it because they're more. It's more focused on just this relationship with Champa Beerus. Okay. okay. They don't go like, well, here's this, that, and this is what this universe does. Like they don't do that. They focus more just on these two. The rest will be explained later because we're trying to focus on this story. Okay. What happens when they win? Like, what happens when Beerus wins? I'm that, assuming Beerus wins. Yeah, Beerus wins, and then Champa decides. He gets all pissed off. He's like, Vados, what happened to Earth in my universe? And they say, there's a line that says, like, they got they got into some kind of war and all killed each other. And they're now extinct. So they have a bet to where they're going to have this tournament. And if Champa wins, he gets to take Earth into his universe. Oh, so he can have shit. all the food, all the good food. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because that's all they—that's all they really want—is just the good food. And Beerus is like, "What the fuck do I get? You just take Earth, and if I win, what do I get?" That's where we get introduced. You're not gonna like this. That's where we get introduced <laughs> into the Super Dragon Balls. <laughs> And those are Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> those are Dragon Balls the size of planets. That yeah, the I didn't other like Dragon far. Balls have. You know, limits. Like, you can't bring a dead person back twice. He won't grant the same wish. Yeah. These super Dragon Balls do whatever the fuck you want. You know, I thought I had noped out yeah. at the alternate universe. Oh, and I've got it. I then you drop like. super Dragon Balls on me. I've got it. So they're they're gonna they're gonna collect them like forty times, and then they're gonna become corrupted, and then shit's gonna get weird with that. And we're gonna get like super bad Shenron, like in that one arc that was totally not Dragon Ball. <laughs> <GT. really>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that where this is going? We're getting super GT here. No, soon. they just super what GT. happens now <laughs> is we get the tournament, and well, of course there's a fucking tournament. There's the tournament between the two universes. They get to pick five just people just each. Hold on, who do they pick? So Earth picks. So I see um, almost boobs on here, and I, I'm interested in that. Yeah, we'll get there. That, yeah, okay. that shit's funny. Okay, so they're picking their fighters, right? So Beerus is like. I get to pick one of them because I know this guy that's really strong that I think you guys will like. The, it's it's the guy that's supposed to be stronger than Goku. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, they tease Goku that. will just train some more and get stronger. I hope that's I hope Goku we save that picture. Does. Probably defeating a sandwich. Um, it only makes it tastier. Uh, Why be a beat farmer instead of like a personal trainer or something? Like, Why don't you get your ass beat a whole bunch? Your of times? whole resume. Because no one can keep up with of him. all the things. Okay, sorry, keep going. <laughs> He'd well, probably kill whoever he trains. Yeah, probably he's a human. He'd blast him out of existence. Yeah, but why not like, like a, a professional <laughs> food contest person? It's gotta be a thing. What do you mean? Like, you know, just enter in food oh, contests. Oh, like a, yeah, oh, like a, he'd be a YouTube star. Competitive you know, like, eating? Yeah, like, you know, like, oh, a pie he does a, He's like, all right. They don't want houses. him to be in the limelight. So quickly. Because they would harass Goku's chi-chi. Uh, yeah. But anyways. So they're fighters. They're picking their fighters. Yeah, and there's a super dragon ball that's missing. They gotta find it. And so the other fighters just let you know too. So they already have the super dragon balls? They have six. They need to find the seventh one. Got it. That's where Bulba's boobies come into play. Are her are her boobs one of the super dragon balls? No, what happens is they're like there's this dude that never gets (laughs) mentioned anywhere else in this whole show. This guy. This guy that just knows everything. (laughs) 
<laughs> but the way you have to ask him a question is you gotta you gotta give him what you can offer. So Jacko, this guy that we met, this little alien the dude, little space guy, he was really remember funny. Like, yeah, the pew, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He, the way he offers, Jacko goes up and gives him a little kiss on the cheek, <laughs> and he's like, to prove that this guy knows everything, Jacko's like, okay, I don't remember his name, whatever you are. He's like, what size are bulbous panties? And he gets the exact like size, and everything. He's like, there you go. And then uh, he's like, so those are boobs. No, it's the panties, because uh, then Bulma's like, I'm going to go give him what I offer. Bulma gives him a little kiss on the cheek, and he's like, <laughs> saggy boobs, middle-aged, not my type. You get three questions. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, the exact opposite that you think, because he only got one question. He's like, all right, you get one question. But he didn't mention anything about not liking him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, then she says something like, I really get three questions. I was like, no, you have two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny moment and then um, she asks like she doesn't even ask where they're at they have to find it because she's like oh wow so can you tell me about the super dragon balls yes uh, you have what <laughs> okay he's like a genie yeah. yeah he's like careful what you wish for kind of shit and then why wait so who Jacko and Bulma go together with the same goal yeah they want to find this last super dragon ball wastes his question on something he could find out by going through Bulma's laundry well yeah. it's just to prove that he knows everything yeah he did it to be an asshole yeah but oh uh, okay yeah okay. he's like because uh, Bulma's like I don't believe this fucking shit this is stupid oh, okay. this fan fiction shit who okay. cares now another thing that happened before that Bulma has a fucking sister yeah her name's oh. Debbie <laughs> <laughs> I don't count Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get like, like I think it's funny and I like this, but you guys really aren't diverting the whole fan fiction stream. Well, it gets <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think you guys would really like um, the cursed child. Um, it's oh, kind of like no. Me, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This, mm, I, I don't cool. want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, what? Who? Who? Who's this guy that's stronger than Goku? That's what I gave a shit about. Yeah, we're getting to him. I can't yeah, his name's cool his name's Monaka. This is Mon- Moana. Moana. And Mo- <laughs> Let me pull up a picture of him. <laughs> this is the strongest man besides Beerus. You know, that really doesn't surprise me based on what you guys have been talking about. <laughs> I get it. So, is he actually strong? Well, I don't, I don't know. We haven't gotten that far. You know what I think has happened here? What? One Punch Man clearly One punch! has been Sorry. influenced by Dragon Ball and this whole series of fighting anime, and it's like condensed it all down to this hilarious, awesome show that's totally like a like a send up and an homage to like Superman and Goku and all this shit. But then the guy Akira Toriyama sees this and he's like, "Go step up my game. I want to get in on that shit." That's gonna be funny too. So Satire? I Hell yeah. feel like perhaps we've come into some kind of like weird influence loop. Where perhaps the show is being influenced by One Punch Man because this is kind of ridiculous. This little man who creature. Here. Well, there's there's more to it. I mean, I know. Like, his is he deal. shoplifting lemons or does he have really large areolas? <laughs> there's a joke about that. There's <laughs> like they're like, what's the meaning of uh, Manaka? And Whis is like, because that's who he asks. Goku asks Whis like, means very strong warrior, and then uh, warrior with something like warrior some levels. other word that just. Blibbity blob. And Goku's like, go ask Monaka, he's like, uh, what's this blibbity bop mean? He's like, has very big nipples. And then they boing. Yeah. They have a boing moment where the nipples plop. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Vegeta's like, yo, who farted? <laughs> who says who just farted? <laughs> and then they travel on. Yeah. And get to the tournament. It's it's the funniest shit. Like because I would like this. <laughs> It's, no, it's right? good. It's like how it's are not taking it itself seriously. Yeah, like this whole twelve universe is like that's literally one thing. That's what we're talking about with bullshitting. Like not focusing on the shit that's just exposition. Getting yeah, more into like it's just faster. Shit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not spending time on the shit. that's too confusing. And it, like, because there are going to be people pussy. like, but what's this mean? But wait, if that is that, and it's like that's not that what this show is. This show's not to be super analyzed. I mean, you can poke holes in the plot. But it's more about the characters themselves. And that's that's what I think this show really does well. This little manga, volume one. Manga. Alright, we're manga. almost done. Yeah. 
Yes, just just hold on. <laughs> I know this is hard for you. Oh, another thing I mentioned. Uh, I know Ethan Paisley won't give a shit. Uh, you might, Davis, but they kind of mentioned Gohan at this point because he doesn't they, come with them. They fuck on Gohan. Yeah, they fuck on Gohan. They're like, it's because he's like, I want to just become. Yeah, he becomes a pussy, and because he goes to school instead of fight. Yeah, yeah, but he also like he doesn't train anymore. Um, he becomes, he, he when he fighting. fights, he like loses because he isn't kept up on his training. And they joke about that. Um, so at that point, yeah, they arrive to the tournament, and then there's to start the tournament. Vegeta made a rule that you have to pass a written test. That way, we know you're not some big idiot that's just going to kill somebody. So they but, all have to take this paper test. What's the but, test? But Goku. <laughs> yeah, it's um, the way Vados, because she created, it, described it, is just to test basic knowledge. One plus one. What is your name? <laughs> what is your name? And oh, they shit. meet. They meet this character Cabo, or well, I don't know. Let's, how you... let's explain the teams. So yeah. on Vegeta's yeah. team, we got Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Boo, and Monaco. the guy that's stronger than Goku. Yeah. Okay. On uh, Champa's team, you got Cabo, Magetta, Frost. Uh, is Frost a fucking hit. Frieza? Race? Is he? Yeah, he looks like a Frieza dude. And got then it. hit, and then that big fat yellow guy. I can't the remember bear. his name. I don't know. Hold on, I'm gonna, we gotta wait. No, please. <laughs> We're almost <laughs> done. We're almost done. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Then we'll go to sunshine. Come on, man. It's good for your I heart. Gotta shower. <laughs> well, then we'll shower. Then shit. we'll go to sunshine. <laughs> Everyone there is drunk. <laughs> let's just go. Let's I'm just go. Very We're sick. almost done. We're like, almost done. Well, so this is this is who we this is what we have left. Okay, we got Cabo. Yeah, so Cabo, Cabo is a. Um, it's revealed that he's talking to Vegeta. He's a Saiyan from this other world, and Vegeta's race has always been these brutes, these violent, um, just animalistic characters. Mm-hmm. His Cabo version is a very intelligent, and they're trying to not conquer worlds, but work with them to defeat evil. So okay. he's kind of. It's like a good version of a Saiyan. And him and Vegeta are like, they like each other, like they're smiling at each other, like, do good out there. They want kiss. Not taking it easy on you, like, yeah, great dad. It's like a <laughs> father pop, father son thing. Okay. Okay, and then they're taking the test. And like, right after the test is over, everyone passed except for Boo. Boo <laughs> failed. Got zero out of, I think it was like 10. Yeah. And then. They're all like, I can't believe you brought such an idiot. Like, I can't believe this failed. It's such an easy test. And Goku's like, I barely passed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it showed a little snippet of their pi- Piccolo yelling at Boo. He's like, Boo, how the hell did you... <laughs> you spelled your name wrong. <laughs> and then Goku's like, I barely passed. It said, like, six out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy. And then, um, yeah, and then... There's a fight where Goku shows his smarts because it's Goku versus this big fat yellow dude. And this yellow dude's deal is he's not very strong, but he cannot take damage. Like, you can't hurt him. So one of the rules of the tournament is if you get knocked out of the ring, you lose. So Goku, after fighting him and kind of losing energy, he's like, fuck it, I got an idea. So he picks up the dude and just throws him out the ring. Everybody's like, oh, I can't believe I didn't do that. Oh. And then... Goku's smart. Goku's smart. So then they're about to start the next fight, and then steps up this frost guy, which we got a picture of. Oh, yeah. Frost. Is he just a silver Frieza? He kind of, like, yeah. So he walks he, up. He's an OC. And oh, he's yeah. looking, like, all menacing, right? He's stepping up. Is that frost? That's frost. I yeah, thought that was a picture of Frieza. Well, Frieza's purple. So I know that. <laughs> I thought it was a different lighting. So frost um, steps up, and they have this kind of, like, angry stare down. Sometimes and Frieza's white. <laughs> And then Frost, <laughs> <laughs> and then Frost kind of extends his hand. He's like, um, "Can't wait to fight you," or something nice like that. So they're like, "Oh my god, he's a nice guy this time," and he, and he is. He's a he's nice, nice Frieza. He's a nice f- version of Frieza. And then you know him and Goku fight. They don't really show their full power. They're like holding it in, trying to be cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Got it. Careful. We got to see. We got a logo from somebody's thing. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, it's like Deviantart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Original OC, do not steal. <laughs> so, what's yeah, going on with this crotch here? I don't know. Is that I don't care. He's got a fucking tentacle dig. Go on with the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he gets he he tries to 
he tries. Goku's like, okay, I know you're holding back because I've seen, I fought the other Frieza. You have more forms. So this Freezy Pop. But now it's my final form. <laughs> goes goes to the third form where he's got the big like oval. He looks head. like yeah. yeah. I, and I hated that form. If you remember, and they kind of pay homage to this, but like back in the original series, Goku never saw that form. Yeah. So like they, everyone's like, "Oh, Goku's not gonna recognize this form." And he doesn't. He's like, "Oh, your final form looks different." Oh. So then, and then at the very end, Goku goes Super Saiyan, just the yellow hair. He's like, "Okay, I'm charging you now." And they go, and that Frost guy is like, "I'm about to get fucked." So then he goes to his final form. And then the book's over. Well, no, Goku knew that he was holding back. Still. Yeah, he knew. He was like, you're still holding back. And then like, when he I sh- warned you once. Now I'm coming at you. <laughs> so then Frost becomes, he looks like Frieza, and then that's it. Like final form, Frieza. That's the end, that's of, the the end of the book. That's the end. Wow. Yeah, like, I like how it's, it's not overly complex in the sense of, like, they introduce that kind of complex shit, but then they kind of back away from it. They're like, we're not going to confuse you. Like, yeah. Just stay focused here. I think that was really smart of them to introduce the manga like that. Mm. So just skip out. You Keep know, it here's simple. Here's the movies. If you want to go watch them, watch them. I, don't, I just, to me, it's like, if you can't, if you can't handle the complexity of, like, a Dragon Ball manga, <laughs> anime's not your thing. Yeah. <laughs> anime's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's not really mine. I think Dragon Ball is the only one I like. I like to tack on Titan, Sorry but uh, every time I watch one, I'm like, this is this sucks. <laughs> Guide them. How did you say that? I don't know. <laughs> but you yeah, all, so you all know a real good fighting anime, though, is Yu Yu Hakusho. That's just that is a good. That is a good anime. Yu Yu Hakusho. I remember kids used to get bullied at my school because that book was like, just came out, like, to libraries what? at schools. Oh. And, um, like, all the weeby nerd kids would, like, read that. I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to get picked on. So, uh. like, I avoided it. They'd be like, what's this Yu Yu Hakashu stuff? And I was like, I'm glad I'm not that fucking kid. <laughs> My Dragon Ball Z All the shuffle. Naruto nerds got picked on at our school. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> there was actually a kid that ran like that. Wow. Would you not? that for him. He was would actually you? good at dodgeball. I heard you could run faster. He was like good at dodgeball. Or'd you run faster when you run like that? It's because you're aerodynamic. He believed it. <laughs> Believe it! Good Duffy. Alright, so, uh, Ethan, what do you think? Yeah, Ethan, let's get some. I have many thoughts. You have many feelings. And emotions. I want an in-depth analysis of what you felt. Honestly, the guy with the weird lemons for nipples is probably the highlight of our discussion. I thought that would be the case. Yeah, he seems interesting. Yeah, like I'm considering some fan art of that guy. Yeah, he's I don't cool. want to spoil it for like Alex, jumpsuit. but I'd tell you his deal. You'd like it. He's got a deal. Okay. There's a thing with him. Right, well. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. All right, well, I that's like cool. the kisses. He's cool. Are yeah, kisses the kisses. There's a lot of kiss, things kiss, like kiss in shit. there. Yeah, the, uh, I the like, One Punch uh, Man influences totally. I don't like that the whole thing is about food. That's like the steak of our earth is based on the uh, uh, s- tasty snacks. That's interesting to me. Food fight. Um, that really is a disappointment, though. What? That, that Universe 6 doesn't just fight with food. Yeah. I understand oh, that's just miscommunication, but that'd, that'd be lame. Really like, how do you. Yeah. How do you cool. I don't know. It's like. Uh, Who cares? It's, it's interesting. It's like Nobody a dies. Of Nobody that guy dies. From well, the I mean, food, what yeah. if they're made of food? Well, it's at your fault. And every time Goku <laughs> fails a fight in that universe, he just eats more and train. He trains harder to eat more. The LA Beast would fucking smash that. <laughs> exactly. That LA Beast would be Hercule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an anime I'd watch. <laughs> With the LA Beast, you know that. My final opinion on the whole thing is, um, yeah, I think Yu Hakusho is a really great fighting anime. <laughs> maybe we should watch some of that again. Watch a little Yu Hakusho. I think it'd be cool to do one about Scotty Pilgrim when I finish. My favorite part about Dragon Ball is how poseable these figures are, and I can make them. I can make them make love to each other. You touching my socks? You touching my socks? (laughs) 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 Like if you you guys just think it's like you're supposed Uh, to. I'm gonna have to move that. Yeah, at least I'm not that bad. I don't have figures. Like this is. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the best part of Dragon Ball right here. I'm telling you. Go, Chan. Don't even, don't even try it. 
Don't he's, try it. He's already got pieces falling Don't off try it. Boy. Yeah, don't, don't mess with Gohan. This is Gohan? Yeah. Is he just jacket A on the corner? Doesn't make you feel no so we should we should end this out. because I I got a fart. <laughs> I'm, I'm really tempted to no, fart in the just mic. Do it. You could do it. I'm tempted to like, fart right in the mic. Do you it. could do it in the bathroom. Everybody's clear. Scatter. Scatter. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, well, leave the stream so I don't have to edit through two hours. Uh, I'm gonna have to find hour. that. Well, I'm gonna find that fart one. moment. I'm including that. Well, no, no. But I'll listen back to it later. <laughs> Thanks for coming. What did you guys think of rice cakes? I'd want to try one. I remember crab cakes being really good. I like crab. What do you guys want to eat tonight? Mm -hmm. Dick. Dude, well, KFC sounded mighty fine right now. I was on our Fat Logic today, <laughs> and um, someone posted this. Thing. It's like a screenshot from Tumblr of this lady saying diet culture is the 12-year-old girl who asks her mom if she can join Weight Watchers over the summer so other kids stop bullying her. Diet Not culture is the 13-year-old girl whose friends are eating chips and candy but who stays home to eat plain rice cakes because they have less calories. And then just goes on and on about the sad situations this woman That doesn't sound sad. That sounds like someone trying to better their health. Right, because diet culture, exactly. So, but then I commented on it, is it just me or do rice cakes get brought up a lot by these people? Do they really think rice cakes are that, that popular? And then like a bajillion people commented back telling me how much they love rice cakes. And I'm like, so I edited it and I'm like, damn, I didn't know how many people liked rice cakes. <laughs> but now I feel like I should try to eat them. Because a bunch of people were like, dude, rice cakes are the bomb though. Put some guacamole on that. Ew, Put some fuck, that's nasty. Put some peanut butter on that, that shit. That sound too bad. What a the gross Peanut butter's fuck. weird. I don't know. The fuck is wrong with you? Guacamole? Guacamole does not go on a sweet, man. Peanut butter. No, no, no. It's not, it's, not it's, not it's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's like a ball Cracker. of rice. But it's, it's still rice. rice. Cakes, it's so a those, ball of rice there's two mixed different with kinds. guacamole. There's two different kinds of rice cakes. So they're like the little, like, what mochi's made of. The little, like, sweet, like, it's yeah. white pounded, rice. chewy. That's what I thought It's, it's were. white and rice. And then there's the kind white people eat when they're on a diet that's, like, Bucks rice Krispies, kind of, but like they're like it's like crunchy rice in a cake shape. It would not be good with guacamole. I and feel. it's like a like a, cr a crunch, like a circle rice crunch thing. Don't yeah, worry, I'm gonna look, yeah, I'm gonna look up pictures. Just I'm a yeah, just goop. No, I mean that. What you're thinking of is also a rice cake, Davis. It's like a fucking churro. Um, <laughs> there's like the Asian kind. Like <laughs> look at me like I mean, that it does. Ass. Like it's just a, like based on Wikipedia, it's just a, a white penis. It looks like a floppy dick. Yeah, but I don't. That's a cylindrical rice cake. I don't rice know why you would want that. But then go to the images. You can eat it after. You can put some guacamole on your chocolate cake. Work up an appetite. See, show them that thing. <laughs> why would you eat that? That just looks like the shitty part of a of a rice krispie treat. It's because it's like, it's kind of like a rice krispie treat with no flavor. Because it, it's mm. cool. see, I was imaging like. Cause it's cool to eat it like a rice ball. We're not but eating like a triangle things. one. Listen, no, no that's Davis. Uh, Davis. Onigiri. Yeah, onigiri. Look, you don't eat I things try for the taste. You eat it because what's cool and what's popular and trendy. But, that's when we eat things. We but, don't eat things for flavor. Oh, okay. you like pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Good, you're learning. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was thinking of. Yeah, like, like this is like oh, okay. mochi sweet, kind of stuff. Chewy. I was thinking of this. I was thinking of the triangle thing with the black piece. No, that, no, that's, that's what I was saying. Is that not what That's a rice no. ball. See, I think what's the difference? I think guac might be good one's on that. One's a rice cake. One's a rice ball. I think it's only good. Do they taste different? Yeah. Oh, it seems similar. The rice similar. cake is like a yeah, rice krispie treat giri. with no marshmallows yeah. in it. Giri. and no sugar. It seems like boring eats. It, it is. It's, that's why it's like a diet food, and that's why in that post of that girl trying to make us feel sad for her that she wanted to lose weight. She's like, I ate rice cakes by myself. I it's had to like, eat kettle cooked chips. Ah. Yeah. You think so there's any sushi bars something? in Indiana? Sure there are. Fuji. There's you some have to, sushi bars. You have to go to Indianapolis. There's just some in Indy, like all you can eat. Sushi. I don't you know. If Fuji. Oh yeah, yeah I did at all you can eat table. sushi place. Oh yeah. It wasn't. It's like we fucking twenty dollar buy in. But we can go to Fuji and just sit at a table, not go to the grill. That'd be torture. What? Why? You It'd be all the same food hibachi. You can get hibachi at the table. There's just no show. Oh. And yeah, how am I supposed to get cheaper that way? So I can yeah. pour it in my mouth. Is it? I imagine. Why would it not be cheaper? I don't know. 
I mean, I would imagine on it would be cheaper, but I don't know really. If it if it wasn't cheaper, I thought you could only get hibachi if you do the show. I no. think we should not get KFC. I think this is what this really boils down to. <laughs> you can totally. <laughs> <just> <laughs> this it boils down table. to your idea is stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the typical. You could just ask, like, when we get there, like, hey, can I get the hibachi food but sit at a booth? And they'd probably be like, sure, dude. They'd be like, what? Well, the convenience of hibachi is that it's all just there. What you think you they have mean? a hibachi grill in the Man, this shit ain't convenient. Well, that is cooking. Well, I mean, it's cooking and fries. Like, here's your food. They How's that convenient? You gotta wait on some doofus to put that little pee pee statue on it. I don't know if they need to use that, like, that. Oh! Yeah. It's like, just give me my food. <laughs> they have fucking around and give me my food, guy. They have it. other stuff on the menu that is not made on the hibachi grill. Yeah, like, they have like, like uh, pork katsu and like uh, sushi bento box things and sushi. shit like that. Like, yeah, but like hibachi is like crack to me. You can get hibachi that doesn't have a show before. Thai <sighs> smile. I don't know. What they he say. doesn't like Thai food. I don't know. Paisley keeps talking about some cashew chicken. I think you might. Really if good. there's a thing on the oh, menu. Oh, you would like cashew chicken. I think he'd like cashew chicken. I like cashews and I like chicken. Because all it is is cut ch- up pieces of chicken that are breaded and fried with broccoli and cashews. That's, that's it. <laughs> Stella's picky and that's all she eats there. And she loves it. The What ruined me is with Chinese food. Is those things. Is that fucking buffet in Chesterfield. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I really went there like that and I got some bit. chicken. Bamboo and house. that shit was the worst yeah. thing, yes. Shit Everyone always talks about Bamboo House, but then they're like, yeah, you turn on the lights and like cockroaches scatter. But the <laughs> food's really good. It is good. Really? It's not. I've I ate worse. It. I've ate worse. Well, that's we all funny. know that. <laughs> that's shit, not, man. Is that a compliment to Bamboo House? Well, no, I mean, just like... <laughs> yeah, whose side are you on here? <laughs> I just mean like, whenever people are like, man, that food fucking so I'm like, you've ate worse. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm going to go and eat shit. Yeah, but it's good. No, it's not. That's just not a good open. I'll go to Fuji. I'll, I'll go down I, mean, I, don't, I don't have to convince anybody. That's I'll not a good logline. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to, like, sell me worse. on Bamboo House. I don't want to sell. Like, Chris, you have one sentence to convince me to eat at this restaurant. <laughs> and you choose. Worse. You ain't worse. <laughs> you ain't worse. <laughs> That's like when your mom... Is like try to cook shit, and you're like, "Man, mom, can we go out to eat?" She's like, "You wait worse." <laughs> <laughs> Man, but I've already had fried bologna. <laughs> fried bologna. It's a real meal. I'm tired of this. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. F- fried bologna and cheese. Mom, I'm sick of meatloaf. They <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sick. laughs> They serve that at restaurants. Yeah, it's a thing. Like there's. You I've know, never heard. You know that place Drake's or had that I took you and Aaron. I, I like fried bologna. It's kind of a southern thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a southern it's thing. A thing. Yeah, like what about poutine? Yeah, it was Drake's. So it was like an guys, open patio kind of thing. Did you guys get poutine when you were in Washington? No. no but what I the hell is poutine? That's the, it's uh, like a Canadian it's, theory. It's uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, and french fries dipped in it. Oh, God. That sounds it's amazing. Po- I mean, it. <clears throat> you should do that anyways. Like, if you have mashed potatoes and french fries, you should oh, yeah. dip them. You just put all that shit together. I heard that's like Canadian... Dinery, like that's their main dish. Sounds like a beef about. Manhattan with French fries. Mm-hmm. No beef in it though. There's no beef. I don't think so. It's just mashed potatoes and fries. Gravy. I thought gravy. poutine just referred to the gravy stuff. Like you could get poutine with anything. I had no poutine was. I the thought dish. it was the meal. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I thought poutine was like. Because I know they sell it. Fancy in Canadian North gravy. States. Best beef Manhattan I've ever had. Nine Irish. Ooh. Mm. That is had a good beef Manhattan. It, it's it the only time I compared to Nine Irish. What about NCL? <laughs> Not even. The chicken marinara at NCL's. The one step below Nine Irish for beef Manhattans I've had was when it was home cooked. Oh. Nine Irish is a good place. You know who makes good home cooked stuff? Mom. Uh, um, Caitlin's dad. That steak. He wow. does. He's a good chef. Huh? He like I usually hate steak because every time I get it, it's either burnt. Like shit, steak, huh? or swims in its own blood, and I'm just like, ugh, it's disgusting. Put it on a cheeseburger, and then I'll eat it. <laughs> but her dad made some steak. And I was like, that's pretty good. And I guess now I'm known as Steak Boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a Steak Boy? They refer to Chris as Steak Boy. <laughs> Different made, one steak. I'm like, yeah, Chris is over. And they're like, Chris, who's Chris? I was like, the guy who had the steak. Oh, Steak Boy. Steak Boy. Poor <laughs> <laughs> <Little> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Who that? Uh, it's Bitch Boy. Oh, Bitch Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him. I remember Bitch Boy. Uh, yeah, Bitch Boy. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Man, I feel like Ethan's really prolonging this dog business. I mean, we can keep going. He doesn't seem too interested anyway. Fuck him. Well, he's... Let's, okay, so let's... We can just continue here. He's not gonna know who King Kai is or anything like that, so... Let's jump in right... Okay. So, there's some name differences. <laughs> <laughs> it's for me later. And then, um... Yeah, so, you noticed in the book that, like, King Kai, his name is Kaio Sama. Fuck. <laughs> we can keep going. No. Don't be in here. We're gonna have to... One thing I noticed when I'm well, editing real quick as a side note is, like, when I have to edit your guys' talking bits, you don't, like, give it a second for me to jump in. So, it's like... And then up, and up, and up, and up, and up, I'm just up, used up. to just cutting and going. Well, hello, Badger. Are you done whining now? Did you poop? We, we waited for you. Uh, we talked no. about... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we waited no. on you. No, we waited. We, we talked, talked about, about where we going to eat. Come on, man. You weren't in the last podcast. You can be in this rolling one. rolling something? No. Does that dog smell different to you? <laughs> he smells different than when he went out. Man, fuck that dog. No rolling. It's hot. Where'd you walk him? We went around and back down. We came back down by the creek. Someone somewhere. thought we were going to be done with the podcast when we came back. I mean, I was kind of <laughs> hoping that a little bit of time would have passed. Nah, we waited on you. No, nah, we waited. Oh, well. We <laughs> talked about poutine and okay, egg rolls well, and bocce. Are we bocce. Going to, where are we, we talk about egg rolls? Talk about rice. Think about that while you poop. Same thing. Fuji, but if are you, you go pooping Fuji, now? You sitting at a table. But we can sit at a table if we go. We're going to Fuji? No. Yeah. Mm. The boys broke. No, we're not. Yeah. Boys broke. I, just I thought that's GQ. what you guys were talking about. I'm talking about Sunshine I'm Cafe. I'm broke too. That's what I'm saying here. <laughs> Sunshine Cafe is cheap. It is cheap. So I know Sunshine. I hope it's cheap too. I hate I hope. Well, then we're not going to hurt. I could use some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> cheap bastard. You could, uh, Sunshine? Cheap? Fuck you. Sunshine? <laughs> Fuck you. What Sunshine? do you mean? Yeah. Uh, put your hand in. Look for it. Sunshine? Nah. Oh, somebody <laughs> can eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a three on one. We'll see what Ethan's like. Ethan's like sunshine. We're gonna have a good end of episode extra. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because it's, <laughs> it's three to two. <laughs> this whole this is like fifteen minutes of extra. <laughs> <laughs> Part <of> people. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of me sitting at a desk where everybody's having their fun tomorrow. Like where are you going fun. tomorrow? You said you're busy. We're going to a concert. Which one? Third Eye Blind. What that? We said you were step back from that list, yeah, my Badger's friend. Yeah, Badger's song. Jumper, Dude. how's it gonna be? How's it gonna be? Summertime kind of life. Dude, come on. I don't know. Uh, I want something else. Get me through this. I need same charm kind of life. Kinda life. Baby. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. How's, that was a quick poop. The other one about yeah. lying to your mama. Is, it, is, is this a fart? Is blood? Huh? He was playing poop. He was crying. Yeah, he was yeah. just crying. Hey, Ethan, oh. how's sunshine sound? Sounds fine. Okay. Oh, four to one. Oh, all right. God. Stop Where do you want to be? IHOP? No. IHOP is suggested. He, he wants to go to KFC. No. IHOP is the Walmart of diners. If you guys get KFC and bring it back here, I'll just eat at home. I'm not big on KFC. KFC, I could make a little tortilla pizza. Oh, I could sunshine, but sunshine. All right, we can all but golden baby. chicken. Yeah, I don't know. That was slippery, slimy. Last time I got yeah, that shit. I'm not a fan of there. Especially the KFC you like to go to. Come on, big boy. All right, uh, stop touching me. All right, <laughs> I'm touching you. 